Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net with a full review of the HP Pavilion DV6. Before I begin the full review, be sure to check out the unboxing and the performance test of this laptop. First of all, if we begin with price, you can currently get this laptop for just £499. So, for £499, you are getting a dual-core AMD CPU with 6GB of RAM and a hefty 640GB of hard drive capacity. You are also getting a dual AMD Radeon GPU graphics card. And, of course, as default, it comes with Windows 7 Home Premium. So that's the specifications all done with. For the price, you're getting quite a lot. So now let's move on to design. I'm going to begin with the lid, and in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see a very stylish and discreet HP logo. I like this unlike some of the laptops, as it isn't too prominent. One thing which does make this laptop stand out from the rest is the glossy, textured finish to it. It really does look good, however it may not be to everyone's taste, so maybe a plain option would be better, and possibly even the consideration of having matte, as it doesn't attract as many fingerprints. Now moving on to one of my favourite design features of this laptop, and it is the full-sized featured chiclet keyboard. I really do like these chiclet keys, they are spaced out nicely, they are not compressed at all, and they are rarely ergonomic to use. It even includes the numeric pad, which not many laptops has, which makes this laptop perfectly suited for business purposes. As you can see, the keyboard efficiently uses the whole width of the laptop. Moving further down onto the trackpad, it has a prominent light all the way around which stops you going off the edge as the trackpad is quite discreet. I really love this feature as it is always in the corner of your eye so you'll never go off the edge. It of course has two clicky buttons which are really nice and ergonomic to use and durable. If you find the bright, vibrant light is annoying you, you can actually turn it off if you want to watch video content so it's not too distracting. You just double tap the box in the left hand corner and it goes off. A little orange standby light indicates that the trackpad is actually off. You can then double tap it again to reactivate the trackpad. As you see here, the laptop is so sleek and thin, and it weighs like a feather, it is so unbelievably light. It has an aluminium bar running all the way around it, which does add quite a stylish effect to it. On the side you also have the port, you have the option of two video outputs, may it be HDMI or VGA. Moving further down you also have Ethernet and dual USB, so there's plenty of USB ports to connect your peripherals to. You also have dual Headphone slots, which I really love this feature, if you want to listen to music and show someone else your music you have made, you can also have them listen to it, and you also have another USB slot. On the other side of the laptop, you have the conveniently placed power slot, with a little light to indicate when it's charged, you have the Kingston lock, and of course, dual USB once again. Just next to your USB port, you have a power indicator and you also have a hard drive activity indicator. These have been strategically placed as they do not distract you and they look pretty stylish just tucked away there. The final thing you have on the side of your laptop is of course the DVD drive. This is a CD DVD rewrite drive and you just hit the button and it will open right up. Moving on to the LED Brightview display, it is very vibrant, standard LCD display, but it does not attract that many fingerprints. If you find the display is too bright for your liking, you actually have hotkeys to turn the brightness up and down. With this super bright display, it is very well suited to doing some gaming. As proven by the performance test, the graphics card is more than capable. You can watch the performance test by clicking just up there. As you're doing gaming, the laptop is going to of course heat up, but don't worry, the fans on board are excellent, they don't make much noise, they don't rev up, but they do keep the laptop at a very cool temperature. If you have the laptop on your lap, there is actually an exhaust fan at the back to get rid of all the hot air and keep your laptop cool. 
you're probably thinking with all these features that it does use up a lot of battery life. However, it does not. The battery lasts for approximately 5 hours. If you're doing gaming, it'll last between 3.5 to 4 hours, which is much higher than the standard battery life. You can even put your laptop in standby, open the lid, and it will resume exactly where you left it with the exact same amount of battery life. When it comes to charging, it doesn't take long at all to charge this laptop. Approximately, it took me about an hour to get the laptop fully charged, but that does reflect quite a lot on the very large charger. The charger is significantly larger than any other laptop chargers I have ever had, but I am prepared to make that sacrifice as the laptop charges very, very rapidly. Overall, this is an amazing machine. It is light, it's mobile, it's a Great for corporate use, it's great for home and entertainment use. This is an all-round laptop which you can use for schoolwork, running a business and watching movies. The only issue I do have is the very large charger. That really could be reduced a lot in size. So if you think this laptop is for you, you can go to www.hp.com where you can find more information on purchasing this laptop. For more of the very best tech news and reviews, be sure to head over to theworldoftech.net. We are also recruiting brand new editors, so if you think you're up for the job, be sure to head over to the website and click that contact us button.